Hey lifers, in today's video, I'm revealing all the fitness mistakes that I made early on in my bodybuilding journey. All the things that cost me precious gains so that you can make every gym visit count. Today we're heading to the trainer's gym, a private gym facility in Richardson, Texas, right outside of Dallas. I'm taking you with me on a total body workout to talk nutrition, supplements, and giving away lots of gain. Now, please, please make sure to stay till the end of the video because I will be giving away a free tool that you can start using immediately on your next gym visit. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so let's talk fitness mistakes that cost me gains now that we're in the facility. All right, so the very first thing we wanna do before you do anything, make sure you have a strategy in place for your workouts before you hit the gym. What do I mean by that? Do not go into the gym looking around to figure out, hey, what should I do? That is the easiest way to fall back in your uh, transformation. Have an intentional goal, and you can only do that if you've laid out a blueprint of a strategy of movements that you wanna do on that day. So, for instance, today, I already have planned out my workout. I'm gonna do an upper body, then we're gonna to move to lower body, and then from lower body, we're gonna do a cardio, an abs finisher um, before we end the workout. All right, so using some light weight, just wanna go ahead and go through some general movements. Uh, what I like to do is just go ahead and do compound movements for my arms and my legs together. Um, so there's a good, a good movement I like to do. It's just a press and a, a reverse lunge, like a curl and a lunge. Just gonna look something like this. Okay, back and forth. Okay, and we're just getting blood into the muscle. We wanna do like 10 of these. Next move we wanna do, let's do some lateral raises. Um, the ones we're gonna do today, we're gonna kind of bend forward about 45 degrees and we'll go reverse. We just want to kind of pick it up, hold that position at the top, and then come down. Again, we just want to hit those rear delts and shoulders, just kind of wake those up in this movement, okay? Core is still tight, about 10. You know, again, we're just, this is not the workout, just warming up the body. We want to go ahead, let's get our quads and our hamstrings involved. Do some seated squats, or some seated squats. We're going to do some squats with uh, in a curl position. So. You're going to feel that tension on your shoulders. So we're still getting a good upper body workout. And then we're just going to sit down in it, try to hold that position about 10. If you're someone who needs, you can always have a seat up under you for a modified squat. But I'm, of course, I'm not going to need that with this particular movement. Um, but I am going to try to hold the bottom of the movement so that I get some blood into my legs and kind of pre prepare my muscles for the actual workout. All right. So we're going to do 10 of these. And again, whatever you feel, it could be 10, it could be 20. You know, we're just trying to get the, you know, body warmed up, all right? All right, so here we go. Make sure you're breathing. There we go, all right? And that's pretty much it, guys. Just a nice warm up. Just making sure your body's ready for the actual workout. Um, the only thing I probably wanna wanna do is maybe a TRX or maybe do some light sprints or something, but otherwise this is about good. Now let's move into the actual workout. Full workout's gonna be in the description below. So um, this is gonna be more of an elite workout. Um, so if you're someone who's been in the gym, this is gonna be a good work, workout for you. Um, but we're just gonna go through the sets. We're gonna get it, get it going, but I still have the tips. So, so Stay tuned for all your tips. Um, speaking of tips, let's hit a few right now. Uh, no ego lifting. I'm not lifting super heavy. I'm just gonna hit what we need to hit. Um, and then thumbless is gonna be something I'm thinking about. So certain movements, I'm gonna take my thumb out of the pool. That's helped me a lot because that helps to isolate the muscle, takes your forearms out of the equation. Um, so those are the two good ones. But always make sure you slow down on those um, Pulling and uh, pushing movements where you're squeezing the muscle, slow down, really squeeze, really get blood into the muscle. All right. Get it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit, keep going till I got it. I won't give up till I'm on top. Yo, no, I ain't the type to 
can give up. If I do something, man, I do it till I get what I want. I turn a business out of nothing into something I love. I got a poker face, but honestly, I'm not one to bluff. I flip a switch, never miss, man, I always stay up. Don't let them see you, bitch. Always have a plan to stay tough. This life ahead of you ain't easy. It was built to be rough. But that's what makes a personality is tragedy, bruh. Uh, so keep your head on your shoulders Now we ain't out here moving rocks We out here moving boulders Now we ain't getting postal rides We out here making posters And we ain't got nothing to hide We move forward like soldiers You better wake up for the pay stuff Or you'll pay up Don't make love to the game, bro. Fuck the game up Change up for your range stuff To your greatness Famous for the way up Play the game, bro. Never stop, I'll get it if I want it Gotta make to myself a promise I won't quit, keep going till I got it I won't give up till I'm on top, yeah You know I'm always honest There ain't no way I'm ever stopping I won't quit, keep going till I got it I won't give up till I'm on top, I'm always flirting with pain She likes to hurt me and maim I'm always working to change But she's still lurking the same I keep on building a dynasty While the haters be trying me But they hate from inside You see, hate themselves as society So I let them speak quietly While my actions speak wider See, they be hiding in privacy With the screen, all the irony To hate someone who's trying to be Whatever they would like to be We all feel the anxiety We make our own rivalries Yo, so where is all the positivity? I feel like we all just hate on everything It's killing me Thoughts build quick Causing different possibilities Negative thoughts will cause different disabilities So do better Work hard under pressure If you got no time Work smarter than ever Don't ever let them tell you That you can never say never And turn your mind into the truest to go getters Never stop I'll get it if I want it Gotta make to myself a promise I won't quit Keep going till I got it I won't give up Till I'm on top yeah. You know I'm always honest Till I got it, I won't give up till I'm on top, yeah. That would be one of the final tips. Uh, do your cardio last. Actually, I won't lie to you. I guess you got cardio tips. But doing cardio last has literally been like one of the most important things for me to actually trim. I'm not even kind of average right now. It's still cold outside, so it's not summertime yet. Yet, but in terms of tips. Outside of doing cardio last, I just want to make sure we got everything. Barefoot cardio last, track your calories. Before we end, track your calories, and that would be something that I would say, whether you're trying to gain weight, uh, whether you're trying to lose, or you're just trying to maintain, please understand that counting your calories, that could be through an app like MyFitnessPal, or any other app where you know what calories are coming in and out. The best way to get your body the way it needs to be is understanding the data. So. Let's walk over to the treadmill. Tell you guys what I normally do. Walk at an incline. Walking at an incline is just as valuable, easier on the joints. If you have knee problems or hip issues, 
walk at an incline at an average pace, maybe three, three speed, four speed. If you don't, if you don't have any issues, what I like to do is a nice pace jog and I do, uh, you know, 10, 15 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes, depending on the season, good pace. I don't try to do hit cardio. I don't do fast, slow, fast, slow. But if you're finding that you're having uh, issues dropping weight, you know, hit cardio is good. Otherwise, a sustained uh, speed, like for me, 5'5", five, five, and I do about 15 to 20 minutes, and I end my workout. But I thank you guys for watching. Y'all be good. All right, guys, so we're here in the classroom, and what I wanted to do is help provide you guys the details of the supplements I take and why I take them. So what I've done is I've kind of given you an overview of some of the main supplements that I like, uh, those being creatine, glutamine, protein, fish oil, BCAAs, and of course, the staple is the multivitamin. Now, again, there are a few others that I do occasionally take outside of these, but these are going to be my core uh, supplements and hopefully if you're not taking these these are uh, the supplements and I'm also going to give you the reasons as to why I do take them so let's start off with creatine most people are big advocates of creatine because scientifically it has been proven to help us increase our size and muscle strength so those are definitely big especially if you're trying to gain some size uh, in addition to that creatine is a naturally occurring substance all that means is that your body naturally produces creatine. So for most people, it's a supplement that you could take without any main issues. Um, next, we're going to look at glutamine. Glutamine, as most people know, is an amino acid. It's vital in the road, role of protein synthesis and muscle repair. So um, if you're breaking muscle down, you have to have a function to help to repair and restore those muscles. And glutamine does help do that. I know a lot of uh, people in the fitness industry really have a good outlook of glutamine and uh, as an additional benefit it is good for gut health next the staple of training is your protein you want to have your uh, your supplement that's going to help not only the building and the repairing of muscle tissue but also you want to help with your uh, with your recovery protein is really good with recovery so that's really good and then um, recently, uh, I haven't always taken a fish oil, but recently I've taken uh, fish oil and it's been really helpful uh, because not only is it a great source of omega-3s, which is good, uh, one of the good fats, but it's also great in reducing inflammation in the body. So uh, if you're someone like me and you're always pushing yourself every session, you definitely want to reduce that inflammation, help your joints out with some fish oils. And then BCAAs, uh, we call those, the, that acronym is for uh, the word branch chain amino acids. So you want to include those BCAAs. Now, primarily, if you take like a pre-workout, a lot of times that'll be included in your pre-workout. Um, but you also want to probably take it separately. Uh, and the reason why is because it's good for your muscle growth and recovery. And then lastly, as we talked about, if you're not taking one, I, I again, multivitamins has been something that I probably needed to take years and years ago. Um, but I just started taking it and it's been extreme. My last doctor's visit, it, it was is extremely helpful. So um, you want a multivitamin and I don't want to, you know, I don't, I'm not sponsored by anybody, but I'm taking GNCs. Um, they have a great multivitamin. So it's, it hasn't had any issues with me, but the multivitamin is great. It's good because it's, uh, there's minerals and essential, uh, I'm sorry, essential minerals for overall health. And again, if you're working out, if you're just, going day to day, there are going to be gaps in your minerals. There's going to be certain things like zinc or, um, you know, certain, certain uh, uh, vitamin D3, vitamin K, certain uh, vitamins that we may not get on a daily basis. A lot of times your multivitamin is going to help cover those gaps. So uh, these are my supplements, guys. Like I said, hopefully if you're not taking one, you are um, more than welcome to, you know, try it out, see if it's helpful for you. If you are taking these, uh, then you and I are on the same page. And like I said, these are the great benefits of them. So 
Um, you should be, if you're training every day and you're breaking your body down, you should definitely be taking at least one or more of these supplements daily. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you got the value that you thought you would. I did my best to include as many tips and tricks as possible. Um, before you do anything, make sure you click that like and subscribe and definitely hit that notification button so you get all the rest of my videos. Uh, but as promised, if you click the description below, you'll get your free gift. What I went ahead and did is I created an ebook with over 60 plus workouts. I have the days, it's weekly. We have a rep range and you have your sets. Everything's all included, absolutely free, no catches. Um, just use it, utilize it, and hopefully, like I said, if you guys have questions, put it in the comments below. I'll be able to answer anything you guys have. Um, but as always, this is Life Changing. That's what we do, change lives. Thank you, guys. All right, guys. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do. I'm at Coach Econ. But I had a question that I posted and I had a few people respond. And so these, this, these questions hopefully are going to be popular enough questions that's going to help you guys out as well. So again, she says, how do I keep being consistent when I hit a plateau on the scale? And I think this is a great question because, as you know, um, sometimes we're feeling like we do everything and the scale is just not moving. Sometimes we had a plateau. That plateau can cause uh, emotional you know, frustration. And the first thing you want to do is you want to reassess your calorie intake. Um, and what I mean by that is as we're going on our fitness journey, if we're trying to, let's say, count our calories, sometimes your body may have just adapted to what you've always done and you might want to go back in, reassess your calories and see if in fact you might want to maybe increase or push a little bit on the calorie in terms of how much you're having or maybe you're at a surplus and you may want to decrease it. So my first suggestion is reassess your calories, see where you're at. Um, if you're not personally able to do that, maybe find someone who's... Um, specialized in kind of nutrition and they may be able to be a good uh, support or source for you to actually get that um, that update of your calories. I always say mix up your workout routine. A lot of times we get in the gym we're comfortable and that comfort is something that your body may have also adapted to which and then in turn is causing you know for you know your body not to feel like there's there's any resistance. So Mixing up your routine is, is very simple. You want to think about incorporating new movements, intensity, tempos. That means change up the speed of the workout. Maybe um, if you're really rushing through the workout, slow down more, slow, uh, give more um, calm, uh, exerted presses on the top of the movement, slow down on the negative uh, movements. Or maybe that, that you're not intense enough. Maybe you're kind of a little bit too sluggish, you know, during your movements. Maybe you want to push a little bit harder and have a little bit more, maybe add a little bit more weight. So play around with those different things. Mix up the workout routine. Um, if you're someone who maybe starts with, um, let's say, cardio, do cardio last. If you're someone who maybe starts upper body or focuses on upper body, hit, hit maybe hit some cardio or hit some legs and then, you know, go upper body. But do your best to try to give your body as much confusion as possible and mix up your workout routine. Next, number three, I think this is a, a big proponent of why a lot of people don't lose weight because I think we all believe that we're drinking enough. But hydration is super important, especially for weight loss, because you really wanna make sure your body's cycling in and out of that water, especially if you're someone who sweats a lot. You wanna stay hydrated. One key thing, and this is bonus, a lot of people don't think about this, Electrolytes are extremely important if you're losing a lot of uh, fluids uh, through sweat, um, through you know, urine. Uh, just that process of getting cycling uh, water in and out of your body must include uh, either electrolytes or just hydration. Period. And you know, the general rule of thumb is eight glasses a day. But I say try to drink as much water as possible. You know. If you, if, you, if you can do half a gallon to a full gallon a day, you know, definitely try to stay as hydrated as possible because not only does it help, you know, cycle and get your, you know, get those fluids out, helping with weight loss, but it's really going to help in just your body's total functionality. 
uh, just to make sure everything's you know functioning properly. So think about that. Th something we all struggle with as number four, that sleep. Understand, um, good people, that the lack of sleep can not only hurt you in your body being able to recover faster and you know grow if that's something you're trying to do tone and grow and actually see the investment that you're putting in but man a lack of sleep it disrupts our hormones and especially for our women we understand that that is extremely important for us to make sure our hormones are functioning at a high level um, optimal level if you will and so you want to try to aim for seven to eight hours that number is kind of high i understand that but uh, I would say at least six hours of sleep is going to do your body uh, justice if you're someone who pushes it at the gym. And then number five, um, maybe the most underrated on the list is staying positive. With our weight loss journey, hear me when I say this, it's, it's challenging. And sometimes it doesn't make sense. Uh, I've had clients who they're eating right, they're doing their best to stay on track, they're doing their... Um, their cardio on their days where they're off training they're doing everything right and it just for whatever reason their body just doesn't want to respond as quickly as it should um, my job as a trainer and nutritionist is to do my best to pour in that um, accountability but also just keep their mind and their mindset positive and that is super duper important especially when you can see that someone has has uh, went from the beginning of their journey to a weight loss journey that is almost at their goal and you know that in between there there were points where they wanted to quit but they held on and the and day seven but they were going to quit and they stayed they stayed true to the process day eight day nine day ten we got that weight that we thought we were supposed to get in day seven so just stay positive understand it's a weight loss journey stay the course and again your biggest thing is focus on those healthy choices and you should be fine so Again, we want to reassess, mix up the workout routine, stay hydrated, sleep, and stay positive. And those things are going to help too. As you, if you hit that plateau, these are going to really help to make sure if you're in that valley, you're going to get back to that mountaintop soon enough. Okay.